I'm News 10's Britt Lafasso. A Sunset man was arrested Thursday evening for allegedly shooting his brother. That shooting leading to an hours-long standoff between the suspect and the St. Landry Parish SWAT team. Good morning, Acadiana. I'm News 10's Roderica Taylor. Fighting against human trafficking, law enforcement speaks on how it's the forefront of Lafayette Police Department. Good morning, Acadiana. This is Zane Hoag. After a 25-year career in law enforcement, Jody White says he still has the passion for helping people in St. Landry Parish, inspiring him to take on his new role as parish councilman. The first extraordinary special session of the year will convene on Monday. Governor Landry will address the joint legislature with hopes of discussing redistricting in a party-based primary system. Governor Jeff Landry announced his endorsement of Donald Trump for president in a social media post Thursday. When Landry was running for governor, Trump publicly endorsed him. Former President Donald Trump addressed the court in his civil fraud trial in New York, railing against the judge and state attorney general Letitia James. Good morning, Acadiana. This is News 10's Dawson D'Amico. If you want crawfish this year, you may have to pay way more than what you were used to. Good morning, Acadiana. I'm News 10's Jasmine Dean. Fort Johnson unveils its new Warrior Memorial in honor of Sergeant William Henry Johnson for his brave legacy. Most of the rainfall is over now. Still warm and muggy outside. The actual cold front still back to the west, but it's a sharp one and it arrives this morning, so temperatures will fall. Just keep this in mind. It feels warm. It feels muggy. Feels like springtime by the afternoon, though cold and windy weather takes over with temperatures plummeting into the lower 50s. You will want those winter coats ready to go later on today. Yeah, seriously.